since it's springtime, I thought I'd do a little demonstration with this flower here. And flowers are beginning to, to you know, pop up um, because it's being springtime and everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of that flower, and I'm going to add to it some flower power. So I'm going to bring my flower back in here. There it is. And I'm going to spray and I'm going to water my flower. So hopefully you can see that color change. But now that it's changed its color, I want to change it back. I'm going to breathe on it. Hopefully you can... Okay, I changed the color. There's still a little bit left there, but I can change it back if I wanted to. And put more in there. Or I can again breathe on it. And I can take away the color. So what is happening here? Let me go ahead and get this a little dry. And this is going to be section 19.3. We're going to be looking at um, stains and indicators. This is one of the features of acids and bases um, that they're going to change the color of, of a stain. We talked about this in a previous, previous lecture. When a stain changes its shape because of acidity, if you remember, either an OH or an H will be grabbing on to the atom, and it will change its shape. Whenever you change the shape of a stain, you're going to change its color. Okay, if you leave a black shirt out in the sun, what's going to happen is the ultraviolet light is going to penetrate into that black stain, and it will literally break the molecule into two. Since it changed the shape of the stain, it's going to change the color, and that's why colors fade when you put them in the sun. So I was actually using, in the flower was some um, pea stain. It was the phenothaline, which we've worked with before. And here's the range that the pH stain um, works. I'm going to draw um, uh, a line here. And here's the pH scale going from 0, going up to 14. Right in the middle is 7. And the pea stain activity is within a very special range. And it's in a range from about 8 to about 12. If it has a pH of less than 8, between 0 and 8, okay, this range over here is going to be clear. So if it's between 0 and 8, it's going to be clear. If it's greater than 12, this will also be clear as well. But it's when it's in the range of 8 and 12, that's when we are going to be seeing the color turn pink. So each stain has a particular range that it functions within. And its range is between 8 and, and 12. So what's happening with the flower power? Well, what we're doing is we're starting off with the stain, and it's really at a neutral. So it's starting off at, at 7. That's what the pH um, is with the flower when it started off white. But what I did is I added some of the flower power. And the flower power is base. So if you add a base, remember your bases are over here. Your acid is over here. So if you add a base, this was the flower power. It's actually ammonia, which is a base. What's going to happen to your pH is it's going to shift from neutral. It's going to then go into the base. And if you note, 
um, it's probably going to be about a pH of 10 or pH of 11. And that's going to cause the color of the pea stain to change its shape. Since it changes the shape, it's going to change its color. But why did breathing on it make it go invisible again? Why did it make it go back to clear? Well, if you remember, in my breath is carbon dioxide. And the ammonia inside my flower power, this is ammonia, but it's also some water. And so if I take my carbon dioxide breath and if I breathe it on some water, this is like the bromothymol blue, the BTB blue. Okay, it, it changes its color. Why? Because CO2 plus H2O produces H2CO3. This is carbonic acid. So I have something that's around a pH of 10 to 11, and now I'm adding carbonic acid. So when you add the acid, the acid's going to shift it back down into this range. The carbonic acid is going to make it more acidic, and it brings it back down into the neutral range again. So in a previous lab, we also used something which is called the rainbow stain. How does that function? The pea stain works within this one range of between 8 and 12. How does the rainbow stain give you multiple, multiple colors? The answer to that is that the rainbow stain is actually not just one stain. It's actually multiple stains with overlapping ranges. So the range for the pea stain was between 8 and 12. Here is its range from here to here. Well, I'm going to um, come up with some numbers. Um, these are some of the colors that we saw with the pea stain. We saw a red, a yellow, a green, a blue, and um, a purple. Imagine that, that these stains exist. The red plus the yellow plus the green plus the blue plus the purple, they all add up to the rainbow stain. Okay, so these add up to make the rainbow stain. Let's say my red stain functions between a pH of 0 and 4. Remember, the rainbow stain has multiple stains. Here's one, two, three, four, five different stains, but they have overlapping ranges. Let's say the yellow has, is functional, and its range is between a pH of 3 and a pH of 7. Let's say the green stain functions and has its range, like the P stain, between 6 and 8. Let's say the range for the blue stain is going to be between um, 6 and 13. Let's say the purple stain functions between 12 and 14. So that's the range of that. So if my material, let's say I was measuring my vinegar, which has about a pH of 2, what color or what stains would be active at pH of 2? We have just the red. Well, let's say it was a pH of 3. What stain or stains then would be activated? Well, if it's 3, 3 fits in between 0 and 4, so the red stain will be activated. But now that we're at pH of 3, we're on the lower end of the range for yellow, so the yellow will also be activated. What will happen with red stain plus yellow stain? It will equal an orange. 
Let's take a look at the pH of 5. At a pH of 5, will the red be activated? No, we've left its range. Will the yellow be activated? Yes, because it's between 3 and 7. Will the green be activated? No, because we haven't reached 6 yet. So at a pH of 5, it'll be yellow. So each of these overlapping stains has the ability to create a rainbow effect depending upon your pH.